Hey guys, Zane here with another quick one take review, and today I want to talk about Vangelis' soundtrack for the film Blade Runner. Now I normally don't do this kind of thing, review soundtracks, as it's a lot harder to do than regular albums or EPs or even singles, because soundtracks generally, when you isolate them from the piece of media that they were created for, don't really serve much purpose, and while they can be very good, don't get me wrong, a lot of video game soundtracks, movie soundtracks, whatever soundtracks, don't really work with whatever they're belonging to not being part of the equation. That being said, with the recent passing of Vangelis, as well as the fact that Blade Runner is just one of my favorite movies in general, I decided that I kind of needed to talk about this one. Vangelis' work on the Blade Runner soundtrack is very unique in that it's one of the few soundtracks to belong to anything at all, whether, again, movies, video games, whatever, to be something that perfectly corresponds with the piece of media it was created for, while also being arguably a benchmark of its own genre of progressive electronic music. It could be argued that very little, if any, electronic music in 1982 sounded as hyper-futuristic as the soundtrack for Blade Runner and the compositions that are found within it. Vangelis stands as an already sorely missed composer whose work here is utterly phenomenal, as very few individuals would be capable of taking a novel by someone like Philip K. Dick, creating a composition, a series of compositions, I suppose I should say, as a soundtrack album for a film based off of it, and then make that album kind of perfectly capture the neo-noir smoky essence of the source material, while still being a major milestone for the genre it belongs to besides the actual soundtrack aspect of it, which is why I'm going to give the Blade Runner soundtrack, 4.5 stars out of 5. Vangelis was truly an amazing composer, and I was going between this and the Chariots of Fire th uh, soundtrack album for talking about Vangelis since he's now uh, passed away, unfortunately, but I decided I like Blade Runner just a, a touch more. But again, Blade Runner soundtrack, 4.5 stars out of 5. And with that being said, that's the end of this quick review, and I'll see you guys in the next one.